Okay, so this is August 24th. This is three days of eating after my 10-day juice fast, and I wanted to check in. Uh, I was very happy with the juice fast this time, especially the epiphanies and the realizations and kind of like, it's like sometimes in a juice fast, um, one is able to, to like the sky opens and one can touch higher, uh, touch the sky, you know, reach higher than one can in normal life. And that, although it fades and one, you know, gets back down to earth, so to speak, um, the memory uh, of possibilities, it, it stays with you. And that was my experience. Um, by lightening everything up, getting off of food and off of eating, it just kind of um, re re realign my relationship to ingestion and, uh, and the body. So um, it's very hot here in Iowa, and uh, I haven't been exercising like I was before because it was nice and cool before. I, I have been swimming. In fact, I went and swam across the lake today and also, I think it was yesterday afternoon, pretty sure, I, I rode my bike down and swam across the lake, which is refreshing. So that's like a, a natural enthusiasm. I went to, to go run today and I was getting my shoes on, which was probably a little overly optimistic because it was so hot out. And when I got outside, I probably would have decided against it. But I went to look for my shoes. I couldn't find them, but I remembered that my running shoes are really, they were really in bad shape. They had holes in them. I had like little cotton things stuffed in the back to, because the back sort of fell out. And, and I have on my list to buy um, new shoes, uh, basically for my birthday. So I just, I, I just had this thought, go to the local shoe store, see what they have on sale. And, um, get yourself a pair of shoes now. So I did. And, um, I got a pair of Brooks, uh, running shoes. Uh, they're $20 on sale, $105, which is a lot. And I, I really do not like to spend that much money on shoes, but for this type of thing, it's like tires, you know, and they, these shoes will last me for about at least three years. I'm sure the old shoes are at least three years old. They look three years old if they're not. And, um, the others were A6. They were very good. These are very comfortable. These are Brooks. And, um, you know, it, 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 it will encourage me to continue to run. And I just realized if I'm going to be exercising, it's going to be inside in the air conditioning for a while and then go swimming. So that's it. Uh, that's from the exercise front. On the weight front, weight, you know, stabilized. On the food front, on the eating, now that's the important part. It's, um, you know, a lot of tasty stuff. Like I had corn on the cob this afternoon. What else have I had that was so good? Oh, I made myself for my breaking my fast. I had lentils, rice. I had a really nice lentils and rice dish with uh, zucchini from my garden for that meal. And that was a really good way to start. Um, and let's see, um, what else, what else, what else? Fresh tomato salad. Um, oh, I went and got some jujubes at the store today, which I really didn't need. I, that, I really didn't need those, but I did that, and that was kind of bad. But, um, oh, and I made some cookies, and I had a little my ch frozen chocolate cake, my frozen blueberry cobbler from before. I like my sweets. Um, but the main thing for me to remember is to, once weight is lost, then the job becomes not to eat beyond satiation, to listen to the body, and once one's full, one is full, stop. And, and everything should kind of, you know, remain the same. Because gaining weight takes discomfort, not a huge amount, but some. And one has to kind of soldier on through discomfort. And, you know, so that's a stop sign. That's a halt sign. And um, and I, I've had, you know, some nice tasty meals. And I think it's quite possible. It's just you got to 
you got to stop quit while you're ahead i also had a really great zucchini fritters last night for which made from a zucchini from my garden ah it was so good my my friend actually uh cooked them something about some people are really good at cooking things and she just really cooked them much better than i usually do had some egg food yum anyway so that's that's my travel log with food but um the most important thing is um I just wanted to get on and talk about it, just kind of express um, what's been happening with the food to make it a little more real, a little more concrete, and the exercise, and um, just uh, kind of to inform myself what um, what's transpired, you know, since I've been eating now. And to remember, it's only three days, and I have 20 days, another 17 days of eating, so, and I want to, you know... Uh, stay with my um my goals that's it